So I'm Jonathan, I'm with Ecolab. Um, we've recently transitioned with Greensboro Fire Department um, for your guys' new chemical, enzymatic special. It's an enzyme-based chemical, whereas you were using Tide before, which is all surfactant. So enzymes are going to go in there and eat everything. Surfactants kind of just shave everything off. So this is a much heavier duty, more concentrated product. Um, so to break this down real simple for you guys, most of the machines are going to have numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, and we made it real simple. So you either need to be on cycle 1 or cycle 2. Cycle 1 is for all of your towels or personal. That's going to be washing with hot water. Um, if you wash with your gears, it needs to be on two. The, the biggest thing we need to remember is never to wash your gear on cycle one. Um, the hot water will damage the, the gear itself. It will tear the reflective gear off of your gear. Um, so just, just keep an eye on that. So when, when loading your stuff, put your gear, your towels, everything in here like normal with the door open. And then we're going to close the door. Here. And then we're going to pick our cycle. So cycle one is going to be for towels, and cycle two is going to be for your gear. So once we've loaded the machine, we pick which cycle we want. We need to pick which cycle up here we want. So if we picked one for towels, we need to be on one here, whether it says average soil or towels itself. Um, if we pick two for the gears, we need to make sure this says two in either heavy soil or it says gear extractor or gear itself. Um, if for some reason the product runs out and the prime is completely out of the line all we have to do is hit this middle play button two times and it will say prime mode once it says prime mode we push the right button one time till it says p1 once it says p1 we push the up arrow and we release and it will prime the line for you once it is fully primed we can push the bottom button and it will stop from there we just push the play button again and it takes us back to the main screen so with each of the machines, they're all going to be slightly different. Most of the gear extractors we have are numbered, as said earlier in the video. Um, but some of them are going to not have numbers. They're going to say like normal press, uh, hot, cold. So what we're going to look for is the top left button is still going to be your cycle one, and then the one right below it is going to be cycle two. So the same thing, but you're just not pushing one and two. You're just going to push top left and then the one right underneath it. So if you ever have any questions that, definitely give us a call. All right, so when dealing with your home style machine, this one is a little bit more simple. So you have your probe that goes down into your five gallon bucket, comes up to this side here. Your outgoing side is this line, which you will either have a short tube to fill up your cup, or you will have a long line here to put directly into the machine. So the only thing that you guys need to do is make sure we hit the green start button and either fill our cup up or put this directly in here until it's fully done dispensing. Uh, a couple of safety things we need to remember is if we're taking this line and putting it inside the machine, once it's done running, make sure that we're taking it out carefully and not allowing it to grab the side of it and flick product into your face or someone else's face or eyes. The other big thing we need to make sure is not to take this line and try to hook it inside here or here or on any other surface blocking the top of this tube. Pressure will build here and whenever you release it, it can shoot out and splash in your eyes or face.